Shit like this doesn't happen. It is pretty serious. I'll be back at the house with King Max. Okay. Sending it, mate. What is behind What's those that? doors? I'm a fool for your love. Yo, so I don't know where the f we're out with this YouTube video, dude, but we're in the new crib. Lots of the stuff is here. You can see it behind me. We got Monty and Matt. They're here. The broskies. And, dude, today has been a f***ed up day, man. Today has been so... I can't even... Drinks up, Sonny. Oh, yes, sir. Here's to a new beginning. Cheers, my guy. Pod the builders in the present. She heard we were vlogging. <coughs> you like the new house, kitty? <coughs> You don't like it? <laughs> She's like, what no. the hell? The curve on this. I don't know, it's kind of difficult to decide. You won't know until you get the table set up. Yeah. And we're almost there. It's night number two. This is the entertainment unit at this point. <laughs> I don't know really what we're doing with the lounge, but we still need to get a couch and such, so it's kind of a work in progress. How you doing, Matt? Tired? Mm -hmm. It's actually a lie. What are you talking about? No, you don't know, but it's the true I fact. And night dose. Safe to say that I'm absolutely knackered at this point. Yeah, the living room, still a work in progress. All of Monty's stuff is still here, actually. And, uh, yeah, oh, there goes the cat. <laughs> now, the office looks really sick. I'm not gonna show you too much of this. I'm just gonna show you a quick little peek around the corner there. Need to get a bed frame. Need to get my TV from my apartment still. And sneak peek at the wardrobe, that's what you get. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, it's my first time lying down since, like, maybe 9.30 this morning. And it is currently... 1.47 a.m. A few moments later. Hey, kitty! Come on, come outside! Come on, yeah! Outside! Oh. What? What? What a do Buddha crew, it is your boy Finesse be here coming to you from the brand new house for the very first time for the intro of the vlog. Kitty is now allowed outside! Oh my god, what is this green? Oh my god, what's that over there? Oh my god, what's that? Now because I lived in an apartment for the entire time that I've had her so far, she's not once been allowed outside. So this is, I'll be honest, her first on camera experience outside! Unless I had it in the moving video, I can't actually remember. Oh, where is she gone? Bush camouflage. What are you doing? <laughs> god, man, look at this view, dude. Look at this freaking epic view. Oh, it's so nice to just get up in the morning. Like, it's even a gray day today, and I couldn't even care less because, dude, the house is just so lit. All right, babe, I'm going back inside. Whoa! Do you know how freaking rad it is to actually have, like, rooms and a hallway and, like, a giant kitchen and a giant lounge, a giant bedroom? It's so good. I literally calculated the square meterage of this room plus the kitchen, and it is genuinely as big as the entire apartment was. And only for a couple hundred bucks more, we got all of that. Anyways guys, welcome back to another brand new video. Today I've got a couple of things on the agenda. I do have to drop my keys back to my landlord, my ex-landlord rather, for the old apartment. So I'm returning those, getting my bond back for that. Already blew a massive bond on this place, so uh, here's hoping that I get all my bond money back from the other place. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I just quickly wanted to respond to the minor amount of like negative comments on my previous vlog. Uh, since we were moving and I kind of led it into a part two, you guys have to realize like one of two things. Now in Christchurch, I've lived in Christchurch for five years now. Everybody in this city, everyone in this community was affected by what happened. Any group, it doesn't matter. We all bleed the same color, guys. And I don't care about race, religion, color, or sexual orientation. None of that stuff. I live by logic, and that's what I'm saying. Oh, you clickbaited. Why would you clickbait click this? this? I didn't clickbait what happened. I didn't use any of those, any of those words in my YouTube title, my YouTube description, and my video got demonetized, but... I had no intention of running ads on that video anyway. anyway. The video was actually flooded with a lot of really positive comments, so bless you and thank you to everyone who sent their prayers out for Crush It. You guys are amazing. Excuse cat. I know this is your little palace, okay? Thank you to the people that were positive about the video, and shove off to the ones that were negative. Now let's go drop off my keys. I'm so glad I'm not living in the CBD anymore. It's just way too busy for my liking. I was actually gonna bring my scooter and squeeze in a quick ride at Wash, but eh, I'm gonna head down to the local later anyway, so it's all good. Okay, so right now we're gonna talk about a brand new scooter. 
Yes, that's right, a brand new scooter. Look at this brake, all right? It's, it's, <sighs> just look at it. It's terrible. Uh, we got the six bones deck, native forks, radix wheels, SCS, you know, all that standard stuff, hydrative colorway. Uh, my deck ends are a little bit beaten up and bashed. They look a bit terrible. You know, just this whole scooter has pretty much had it. Uh, still got the uh, backwards graphic underneath because Urban Art Sampling had it wrong. <laughs> it also sounds like this. For the sake of my new house, before I start building my whip, I am gonna throw down a towel just to make sure that I don't scratch your bench top, you know? We don't want that happening, so I'm gonna put this towel down real quick. Next, I'm gonna figure out which parts I'm gonna put on my scoot. So, camo entity tie bars, Max Peter's Sig deck, Six Bones grip, Unfair Raven SCS clamp, Unfair forks, and two Eagle Radix wheels. If there's one rule I always follow of building a scooter, it's I grip the deck first. That's the first task we tackle. So take off the brake, get that six bone, six wide grip tape, slap it on the six wide. Max Peter Sig deck, not a bone deck. Unfortunately, this is not the Scooter Brad signature bone deck edition, Soz. Take out the rare hardware, gouge the grip tape, cut the grip tape, move your cat out of your way uh, a number of times. Cat! Yo! Away. Cut out the extrusion, cut out the head tube, and we're ready to move on to stage two. Stage two, find all necessary hardware, bearings, and other p bits and pieces that you need to put the compression on. Here we go. Oh my god, why is this bolt so long? He's right, why is that bolt so bloody long? FZ headset installed, followed by the unfair SES clamp. Looking superb so far, if I say so myself. I've got a quick tip for those that want to perfect the back end of the grip tape. Take your bolts of your brake, hopefully it mounts on the top. If not, you don't have to worry about the step, just ignore me rambling. Take your bolts and whatever size Allen key you need, put it through the grip tape into the brake bolt holes, and then gouge it out. Just put some pressure on there while you're twisting it around. This way, your brake is not going to immediately come loose after you start riding. It will just compress to its full potential straight out the gate, mate. I realized the Radix wheels wouldn't be compatible with the scooter, but not to fear, we have these chubby pizza wheels instead. So I'm gonna slap these in, put in that back hardware, the two deck ends with the axle through the middle, and we are ready to roll, mate. Oh, silly me, forgot the front wheel, put that on real quick. And I'm actually deciding to put some pegs on this late in the game. They are used, but hey, I mean, Let's see what happens with this. Last but not least, throw the grips on the bars and for everyone that says you, you need an air compressor, just watch this, it's so simple. Here we go, one, boom, two, and they're done. Look at that, thumbs up. You know when you look at a whip, it's not even like finished yet and you just know that it's gonna look so good. This is one of those. I know just how you feel, Scootering Bradley. Uh, look at me, just putting in those bars. I mean, you, look at you putting in those bars and now it's, uh, it's all done. It's, yep. And that, my friends, is my new scooter. Is it just? Bet you won't even ride it for more than a day. Yeah, leave the frame. Prick. So that is pretty much it with the new scooter build. I think it looks absolutely incredible. There are a couple of things that I do want to do to this before I actually ride it and some stuff came up this afternoon which actually prevented me from going to the skate park which kind of blows and I know you guys are going to be mad but I figured there is a little bit of scooter content in here so you shouldn't be too mad. Just appreciate what you get, okay? Had to help out one of my buddies, Hemi. You guys know him. He was in the video where I made the custom build scooter in the last vlog. Yeah, like I said, I had to help him move into a brand new flat, which he has done so. This is still only the first week in the new house. We haven't even got a fridge or a couch yet. So guys, please give me some more time to actually get set up into the crib before we start doing very regular like riding videos where I'm building stuff, reviewing parts and such. We are just getting there step by step and I hope you guys can understand and appreciate that. I do like making my office videos though, Scoot Wars and Scoot Reviews and stuff like that, when I feel like doing it, and when I feel like doing it, it's much more enjoyable to make and it makes the videos better for you guys as well. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video in the first place. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Actually, let me just quickly run you through the stuff that I want to do to the scooter before I ride it. First things first, the bars are just a little bit too wide. I want to chop about an inch off either side to make them just as wide as my older bars so that I'm running the same sized bar. The wheels, I like. I, I'm not too keen to ride one tens that aren't Radix again, which would mean I would have to change the fork. And if I want to change the fork, I will also then have to repaint the native forks that I'm currently running on my other scoot. I might just do that off camera and then just get them ready for another video where I put them on with some Radix wheels, file out the uh, the deck spaces. You got to file them out on the six wides with Urban Arts because they're all built in. So you got to file them out so you can actually run the Radix wheels. But once you do that, they do work perfectly and there's no issues. So so if you guys are interested in learning how to mod your scooter to fit Radix wheels, I could do a video on that in the next vlog. Let me know down in the comments 
below. Other than that, mate, it's been your boy, Finn SB. That's another video done for me, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Everybody say goodbye to my cat and Matt. <laughs> say goodbye to my cat and my Matt. <laughs> Be your boy, Finn SB, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Gangsta.